So you might know that I like uh, drinking great wine. Uh, that's why I know Sarah Francis, and I know Ian, who's the master son, and uh, on and on. But I use a variety of apps to uh, find out what wine to drink, you know, and Delectable is the leading one. So we're gonna talk about that with the founder of Delectable right now. I get Ian Caldwell. Who are you? Hi, my name is Alex Fishman. I'm the founder and CEO of Delectable. Yeah. And prior to Delectable, I was working at a company called Palantir. Yeah, doing secret government stuff. Doing really cool stuff with governments that's in a lot of ways secret and we can't talk about too much here, but really cool and important stuff. So what got you into wine? Well, I think for me, it was thinking about how we could have a mission-driven company like Palantir, but that did work in the consumer space. And I became very obsessed with this idea of starting a company with the mission of making the world a more delicious place. I thought, this is the one time in my life I can really pursue this. And once, once this kernel got in my head, it just stuck with me. And it's all I could think about. So, so you're an app. Uh, are you on Android and iPhone or just iPhone? Android's coming very soon. Yeah. But right now, it's just iPhone. Yeah. yeah. So you're an iPhone app, a free app, if I remember free app. right. Free app, yeah. And you take a picture, and we'll demo this in a second. You take a picture of a label, and it tells you stuff about the wine. Right? Yeah, exactly. And um, is it that simple? It's that simple. That's <laughs> it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on under the hood. And, you know, your friends like uh, that are in the wine industry are using it, which I think is really important. Yeah. Right? Because, I mean, That's you know, you know some, amount, some amount about wine, right? I don't know anything about wine. But these guys, they really know a lot about wine. Yeah. And so being able to stand on their shoulders, I think is really important for us. And here's why it's important to know about wine and the place it comes from. And, it, and, and tell me, can, can you search by place? I think you can, because we were looking for this wine, uh, uh, this uh, Pomerol uh, region, yeah. which is a place. And uh, we're going to be doing more with like, so the places functionality yeah. is still V1. Yeah, yeah. We'll have real serious places. So here, here I was drinking with my son, uh, Miko at the Ritz and um, he had just been to a wine auction where a bottle of 1982 Petrus went for $6,000 wow. and he, uh, the Chinese bought it because the Chinese showed up with $5 million cash at this wine, <laughs> awesome. wine auction and he f uh, knew the region really well, uh, the Pomerol region, uh, which is where Petrus is, and he knew right across the street is a, a similar label, and I think we found it. What was the wine? Yeah, wine? we found it. Do you, if we want yeah, to what's go. What's the name of it? It's Rouget, a, Chateau Rouget. Chate, Chateau Rouget, Pomerol blend. And, and okay. he found three bottles for $30 each. And oh, wow. he says they were almost, he said uh, he's tasted the $6,000 bottle and he knew that these were almost the exact same. Oh, wow. The Chinese didn't know that because they were buying off the label and he was buying off the region. And uh, it was extraordinary wine. That's amazing. So he sold a, one of the bottles for $500 right after that. And uh, we drank one of the bottles. <laughs> amazing. And we're so going to drink the third one on Friday? Yeah, that's the okay. trick. That's the trick when you uh, have knowledge in your hand. You don't need to buy the most expensive bottle. You might buy the cheapest bottle, which will be an extraordinary bottle, yeah. right? That's the idea of like uh, crowdsourcing the information from all the Psalms. Yeah. Right? The Psalms, like your friend, they know. And so you follow and you see what they're drinking, and these guys aren't spending the most money, but they're arguably drinking the best wine. Yeah, yeah. And so you just see it, and then you tap, and you can buy some. So I'm going to buy some of this wine that you're talking about because yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. finding the '82 is going to be difficult. Finding the '82, but, okay, but I'll buy the 2000. But we have also like a really good year. We have an '82. We we found a couple of bottles. Rich Reader found a couple of bottles, awesome. and uh, he's bringing one of them. Um, so tell me, because uh, uh, you have a. Uh, this space is competitive. I, I yeah. just found a new app called Wine Glass, which actually you, you aim at the uh, menu. Yep. And it and then, then you just click on the menu point by point by point, and it tells you uh, the score of the wine, how expensive it should be, all sorts of fun stuff about that, right? The wine Glass is very impressive. And, very impressive. And uh, you're competing with uh, Vintage. Uh, uh, well, you're competing with other people. Let's just put it Yeah, that. we're competing with yeah, so what makes, some other people in the space. That's true. You're right so, about that. So what makes uh, Delectable interesting and, and different than the other people, the other apps in the space? Because there's a lot of, a lot of wine apps 
uh, yeah. behaviors out there. So we really set out to make the best app, and I think that's evident, and I think that's how we're differentiated, uh, so specifically in accuracy. So our image recognition is much more accurate than the competition, and we're actually continuing to invest there. We just yeah. got, um, today actually, a vision guy started full time, uh, and another one, so we're gonna keep investing in vision. I think that's like a really important feature because there's no easier way. Do you want me to show, can I yeah, show yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do right, a let's demo. Let's check it out. You know? So um, here we are using Delectable. Yeah. So I just point it, point it at a wine, and I fill, the, I fill it up, and then it asks me, is it legible? Yeah. And I say, yes, okay, it's legible. Now, if I'm at a restaurant or something, I can tag the place, or I can rate it, or I can tag my friends so we can all share the experience, and I can share it to other social networks. Yeah. Or if I'm just at like a retail store, I can just say, learn more about this wine. And then Delectable will instantly recognize the wine from the picture, yeah. which is awesome. And then you can see all the ratings. So this wine has 462 ratings from our community and 113 from professionals. So there's like a lot of people that are talking about this wine. And you now, can how see, do you know that somebody's a professional? We tag them. We tag them in our user base. And so you, you how does, because uh, I know winemakers and uh, SOMs, let's say they're not in the app yet, how do they get to be seen as a professional? Do they have to send you anything to prove that they're a professional? Yeah, I mean, they have to, we have to verify that they're professional, just like Twitter does, yeah, right? Yeah. Twitter is like verified users, same basic idea. Okay. We are able to use our data signals to figure out sometimes if they're professionals without us telling, without them telling us. Yep. And then we reach out to them and we say, oh, you're drinking a lot of really nerdy wines, maybe are you a professional? And they say, oh yeah, they were, I'm a professional. Yeah. So we tag them that way. And so when, let's say uh, Miko, who's our son, uh, puts this in, uh, and I'm following him because he's a professional, and I like following professionals. Yeah. I, I know a little bit about wine, and there's lots of people following me, but I'm not at his level. Um, what happens then? And when, when uh, let's say, Assam uploads this wine. Well, Ooh. so his notes get attached to the wine, yeah. which is awesome. So like we're crowdsourcing the biggest set of tasting notes in humanity. Interesting. Right? And it comes from all these people who really know what they're talking about, which is awesome. And we can use that data to do incredible things. Can professionals use this to, um, to sell wine? And here's where I'm going. Uh, Ian, who's one of the 200 master psalms yeah. in the world, he has a company called Psalm Select, where he, he, every, every day or every week he picks wine at a reasonable price that he really likes and he sells it. Is he allowed to do that inside Delectable? You know, we're not... Uh, it's coming. Okay. It's coming soon. I can't reveal too much about our future plans, but I think okay. we may have some delightful things. Because he there. he would add a lot of value, and yeah, of course, and everybody would uh, be making a little bit of money, which would help you uh, pay yeah. for the development of the app. Totally. Well. Yeah. Okay. What else is good? so? What, tell me about this image processing. How, how nerdy. It's really cool. It's really cool. I mean, it uses like. Um, so it's hard, right? It's hard to do this. It's hard to do it so that it's really accurate and it's really fast. And, and in low light. <laughs> and in low, well, there's a, we, we cheat a little bit there. Like we have the ability for the user to turn on the, the light on the iPhone. Yeah. And we have, you know, we'll have that on Android too. And that's important, right? Like if it's a black image, you can't recognize the right. label no matter how good your tech is. Um, how, but yeah, how it's really image, cool. How does the image processing work? Because it's, it's damn accurate. I've, I've used it. You know, I don't know, dozens of times, and it's really good. We have like uh, we've we've trained a lot of artificial neural networks um, that do kind of feature matching, yeah. and then we do fairly sophisticated uh, actual processing image by image after we get results from the neural networks, um, and then behind that we have a very sophisticated data pipeline which makes sure that every wine in the world is in our database and can be matched. Yeah. Now, if you're standing at Safeway let's say in Half Moon Bay where I live, I don't know how many bottles of wine they have, but it's an entire aisle. Yeah, it's <laughs> so like a it's very all, intimidating wall of wine. Right, and, and that's what you're using this app for. You're going one yep. by one, down, uh, taking pictures, going, okay, this one is a, a $60 bottle of wine and it's rated 4.9 by yep. the pros. This one's an $80 bottle of wine and it's rated 3.8. Oh, don't buy that. Uh, this one's rated, you know. That's how it works now, but I mean, soon we'll have their inventory in, in the app. And so you walk into Safeway and it's like, hey, welcome back to Safeway. We noticed that you really like wines with red fruit characteristics from the Rhone Valley, and there's four that we think you should check out. Right? And it will just send you a push note. It's going to be awesome. And, yeah. and how soon is that coming? 
you know, we don't, you know, listen, man, we don't, we don't, we don't talk about like, uh, when we're making I need that tonight. Like that. <laughs> you can call me or call Ian, you know, you should call Ian. But like, we, here's what we do say. We see psalms yeah. at restaurants say, hey, show me your delectable. And then they'll look through it and the psalm knows. So Ian will look through your, look through it and be like, okay, yeah, yeah. you like red fruit wines from the rum, right? And the psalms are better than a computer can be, yeah, yeah. right? Computers are good at storing the data, doing the image recognition, crowdsourcing data. But like a psalm has intuition for what you're gonna like. That's like obviously this, superior. This, I mean, if you're at a three-star Michelin restaurant, which uh, very few of us get to go to often, but something like a Meadowood or in Napa or yeah. a French Laundry, everybody knows, they have a psalm like that of that kind of caliber, and they have a, a wine cellar that is really pretty good. So he he knows the wine cellar really well, and he knows your taste, and he can match the two up and give you a, an extraordinary experience. The chances, though, that you have a sum of that kind of caliber and a wine bar of that kind of caliber together are pretty small. I mean, I think you see this at a lot of like yeah. two star, one star, you know, what Michelin would call bib gourmand restaurants, right? I mean, the restaurants we go to that we enjoy, you're still spending like 100, 150 bucks on a bottle of wine. It's like an important decision. And you're at the restaurant to have fun. I mean, why shouldn't you drink an awesome bottle of wine? Absolutely. Right? And this is why, this is why we started the company. It's kind of ridiculous that you go to one of these restaurants and you have a hard time picking a great bottle of wine, yeah. right? And so this app helps you do that and it helps the SOM get to know you. Very cool. I, I wish I could pay uh, an extra $30 and call you. <laughs> call you. <laughs> call us, call us SOM. Call a, know. phone a SOM. Hey, phone maybe a, we'll have that. We often do. We've experimented <laughs> with this feature actually. We had, it, we had it in the very beginning and it would light up on the phone and it would say calling sommelier. So how do you make money with this kind of app? Because well, you can buy wine. You can buy oh, wine. Can. I was gonna buy that uh, Bordeaux that you were talking about, actually, because yeah. I'm kind of excited about that now. The the Pom Pomerol. But yeah, you can buy any wine Chateau. that you take a picture of, right? Assuming it's available, we can source it for you. Um, it's a really fun experience to take a picture of a bottle of wine and then buy it immediately, and we see a lot of our users doing that, um, yeah. and it's fun, right? It's like you're out on Friday night and you have that awesome, you, that awesome Bordeaux, and you say, dude, I want a case. Um, you know, the way the restaurants price, it's actually a good deal, right? I mean, yeah. you're, pro you're probably only buying the bottle two more times and you get 12 of them at home. Yeah. So let's see, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy a couple bottles of this 2000, let's see, I'll do three bottles, $230. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome, man. Um, More cool. How, how did you fund developing this? Because getting the image experts yeah. is expensive. And costs a lot of money, it costs a lot of money. Um, so we're very, we've been very lean. So like uh, we probably, we've probably done about two or three times as much work as we should have given the amount of money that we've raised. Um, it's a mission driven company. So everyone at the company is very focused on making an amazing app. Um, and we're almost all engineers. So, you know, a lot of companies out there will like outsource their development. That's just not, it's not who we are. It's not how we roll. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, we've raised about $6 million from awesome people. Gary Vaynerchuk is one of those people. Yeah. So he's like uh, in the wine industry, very, he, very his focused family on social. a wine store that se sells something like 70 million a year in, in just one store. It's yeah. pretty, pretty remarkable. And I mean, he kind of invented the way that social media and wine interact, or he discovered it. Yeah. Uh, David Sachs from Yammer, Microsoft. He's an investor at Max Levchin, Ron Conway. So a, very lot, cool. of, a lot of Valley folk. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Um, can you tell, uh, is there a, a crowdsourced experience that I could watch Ron Conway's experience with wine? Well, you can see <laughs> Topher Conway. I mean, I don't know if these guys, I, I, should have, I probably should have talked to them before bringing them onto your show, but you can see your friends and it's public. Yeah. Um, and his, I mean, you can see a lot of these guys are following you. His, bu his budget's a little bit higher than mine. Is, so. <laughs> <laughs> I like the uh, fifty, sixty dollar bottles. He probably can go for the you know, six thousand dollar uh, uh, Petrus that's sitting over at the Ritz. He probably and, can. Yeah. Yes. Well, thanks so much. Uh, we get this in the uh, Apple App Store. Android's coming soon. Yeah. And delectable com. Search for Delectable in the App Store. Very cool. They should all. Everyone should follow you, right? So we can we can all keep track of your. Yeah, I, that drinking. means I have to start putting more in there because when I'm yeah, drinking, come on, I'm man. Not usually thinking about, oh, should I tell everybody about we, this? Uh, your followers collectively want to see what you're drinking, okay? And now that I know you have this Bordeaux kick, I'm going to drink the Bordeaux that you're drinking. Very cool. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.